Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. This reading is going to be in regards to love. Um, we have what at least four questions to ask the cards. Uh, the first question being, how does your person feel uh, about you? How do you feel about the person? The advice for you dealing with this uh, specific person and the potential outcome if you take the advice of the cards um so let's go ahead and get in, get into it i hope that everybody's safe healthy and uh thriving okay all right so let's go ahead and jump into this um thank you lord god for blessing these cards for aries aries wants to know what how does this person feel about them how does this person feel about aries How does this person feel about Aries? Okay. And last one. How does this person feel about Aries? Okay. Okay, so whomever you're coming to the reading for, this will be about that person. How does this person feel about you? They feel like you're the Nine of Cups, the High Priestess, very nice. the Magician. Wow. They feel like you're very powerful. They feel like um, you say something, you make it happen, um, you can get things done. They feel like you are what they wished for um, and, it, and it's come to realization, it's come to you know, the manifestation of. They feel like you're very powerful within yourself, within um, just your female energy. They feel like you're very uh, intuitive. You, persuasive uh patient you're a good listener you feel like you have a lot of talent a lot of potential um you feel like you're very wise um grounded they 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 know that you have it's like a lot of feminine power like you're able to to woo to sway um this is uh they feel like they feel like the sex is very good with you if if you if you've gone there with that person they feel like um sexual compat compat sexual compatibility is um very high for the two of you guys um they feel like you have a way with words you're able to manipulate the energy by your words what you do how you you put things how you you um how you word things they feel like you're very dynamic self-sufficient um learned cultured well studied in whatever arena yeah they feel like you know how to get what you want you have very um skill you either do some skill type of work you could be a tarot card reader a very intuitive person you do work that of course it's something it could be you know in, in you know in, inside of you at the time of birth but you also do some work that you learned and, and you're very skilled at it some of you could be doctors um psychologist, therapist, counselor, something of that nature. They feel they feel like you're very persuasive. They feel like you're very uh empathic, intuitive, you know w what is to come. You um you also um eccentric. You you beautiful in, in your in yourself in, you know in the outward appearance but there's also like a an inner beauty that um it radiates brighter than what you you may see on the outside um i feel like you're very unique okay very unique They feel like you are what they, you are the manifestation of what they were hoping and wishing for. 
in a specific partner whether that's you guys are girlfriend and boyfriend or whatever i don't know um let's see how you feel uh towards this person about this person how does aries feel about this person how does aries feel about this person okay two of cups the world the wheel wow you feel lucky that you've met this person you feel like this was destined to happen um you feel like there's a change and an upswing to your um your luck you feel like this uh it's a beneficial relationship it's mutually beneficial there is an exchange that happens between the two of you which makes it um um you guys so compatible you feel like um you guys do you might you might do something habitually with this person if it's talking texting uh something that you do habitually yeah i don't know for some of you it could be playing video games or um something i, I, I mean virtual even if it's not something that you do in regards to seeing this person every day it's something you do habitually um on an everyday basis um so uh this is uh how you feel about them you feel like this is a, a very mature and dynamic relationship that um can definitely be taken to the next level this is a person you look at it as if you could marry or just be in a very long-term committed relationship with um you could be dealing with the sagittarius a piscean yeah pisces um an aquarius leo scorpio or taurus definitely taurus um cancer pisces scorpio of course um You feel like this is a very fruitful relationship. You feel like this was, you guys were destined to meet to happen. You guys may have met by happenstance, by just coincidence, not coincidence, but uh, just it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned at all, I guess. Could be by coincidence. Um. You feel like this could be a very mature, very monumental relationship. Like this could take you, you could go to the next level with this person. Um, you feel like they're very responsible. Um, you feel like they're very, this could be an older person. They could be older than you or you older than them, but somehow it, it, it works you guys fit um you feel like this is um a beneficial change at times you may even feel like this is a uh, like it's going to end or it has an expiration date I mean, you care for this person deeply. You feel like this is a person that you can go down the road with. You know, the vows that you you could, would take with a person in sickness and in health. Like, you feel like this could this is an unconditional uh, relationship, even if it turns into a friendship. Um. Even the you guys are so dynamic that this relationship could be could be attracting some jealousy also. People outside of the relationship are jealous because there's a deep bond here. This was someone.
you, they, you manifest this person and they're here and you feel like this is the relationship that will last a lifetime, your lifetime. Very, very good cards. Very dynamic relationship. Um, Let's see what the advice is for you dealing with this person. What's the advice for you in regards to this relationship? Okay. The Nine of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers. Okay, so your advice is to stand your ground. Don't give up on what you really want, what you really believe in. Like I said, at times you can feel like you this is ending or it has an expiration date or it will end. You may even be waiting for the other shoe to drop, like there's something going to happen. You feel like it, there's something that will happen that will, you know, just end this relationship. But it says stand your ground because you're almost to the to that place of um, having a complete uh, relationship. The Ten of Pentacles. You're almost to a place of um, having a, a solid foundation, um, happy home. Um, material needs being met something solid and stable maybe even getting married and going into marrying into a family or marrying into money or it could be that also your this relationship happened for a reason it was the bringing together of two souls that are um, highly compatible um, that has a lot to learn from each other evaluate your decisions and this relationship carefully before you just choose to put it down to walk away um this may be that a new boyfriend new girlfriend for you and in the newness sometimes there's confusion there's you know um discord there are arguments disagreements um it says hang in there because it, it it reads as if this is someone you manifest into your existence, whether they're a life partner or a karmic partner or whatever they may be. They're here in your life for a reason. Evaluate this relationship. Evaluate your intimate relationships here. Okay. Now, let's see what the potential outcome is for you if you take the advice of the cards. The Nine of Swords, okay. The Page of Swords. The Two of Swords, jeez. Um, the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You may have like a life-altering choice to make here. You know, um, like I said, at times you feel like this is ending. Or it will end. Or you're at the brink of... At times you feel like you're at the brink of this relationship ending. And at times you feel like you're at the brink of being happy, being settled, being married, being in a committed relationship. The, uh, the potential outcome is the Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Oh, jeez. Lots of... Um, so at times you may feel as if you're blinded or you may feel guarded. You, you want to ask questions. Um, you want to make sure you're asking questions of this person. We could be dealing with a Virgo. Gemini. Make sure you're clear on where you stand in this person's life. And you're not just staying blindfolded to a situation that uh, you just don't want to know the truth to. Because in the truth... Um, you have to make a decision so this is indecision without knowing the truth so it says the potential outcome is um you needing to this is self-fulfilling negative thoughts you know self-fulfilling prophecy of, of 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 all things that can happen bad it says you can clear that energy if you ask the questions 
and you can come out of being torn in your heart in your mind but as long as you stay in a place of um obsessing anxiety overthinking negative thought you know um prophesying negative uh, events then of course you know this is what can happen what let's clarify the nine of swords the seven of swords okay so you may feel like Jeez, there's somebody. Um, the Nine of Swords is happening because of the Seven of Swords. Um, you may feel like someone's wearing a false mask. Someone is being deceptive. Someone is out to get what they can get from the situation in this relationship, in this marriage, in this uh, business. How they're coming off as being deceptive, as being sneaky. Um, and you're concerned um, and it brings you to a, a level of obsessing um, uh, let's see clarify the seven of swords the world okay So this might be you thinking the worst, but what they're saying is that this person has a deep love for you. Um, you you guys have a deep love for each other. Your love is strong, okay? Um, there might be others jealous of or trying to interfere with the love that you two have, but it says um, stay strong. You know, stay stay strong in in knowing that. Um, That this was destined, this relationship was destined to come into your life. It, it's, it, it looks as if the universe is trying to usher you into a, a new chapter in your life. Um, but it looks like it's not coming without the negative self-prophesying self uh, thoughts that you have. Okay. Um, maybe even some of you might be even trying to. Or not trying to, but you may be sabotaging. Yeah, sabotaging this relationship. Um, you have those thoughts in your mind, and then you go into you spot you spiral down into this this negative um, energy way of being. How you talk to the person um, because you think that something's going on. You could be dealing with an Aquarius person, Virgo. Um, let's see. Clarify the page of swords. Okay, so the page of wands. So it says, um, be inquisitive, ask the questions. Um, always be inquiring, get more information. Don't make up your own mind about how someone else feels or what they're doing. Um, say it says you can make it good news um, someone may ask you to do something it, you know in counterpart they'll do something you know it's the well if you stop doing this then I'll stop doing that maybe there's something that this person does that takes you to a place of um, mental anxi anxiety and, and if you you know you start to talk and inquire and yeah, inquire about what's going on. Then maybe you can get a message, uh, uh, something good, something that will, you know, push you into a new way of being or thinking or doing. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Um, this person has a lot of passion and desire for you. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, you need to inquire about what 
What is this about? Maybe you may be inquiring about um, like a home move or if someone or, or did someone move or did somebody take an opportunity to move away from uh, maybe the three of swords, uh, di divorce someone, separate. It's like you're asking the question, have you, have you moved away from a significant person that um, meant a lot to this person at, at one time? So you're asking, it says ask about this person's actions, their thoughts, what they are doing, how they feel. Um, because you might get, you might become very clear. The Two of Swords. The Six of Swords. Jeez. Um, I think once you get clear, you're able to either take make better a choice to rest in a better mental energy um let's see the knight of swords if you have unfinished business with someone and you want to ask questions whether it's you going to stay or to leave just ask the questions you may get the answers that you're looking for it brings you to a level of clarity you're no longer confused about should you stay or should you go should you continue dealing with or should you walk away okay um it's it's all laid out on the table for you to a sort again um even they may answer all the questions they may not uh but whatever happens it takes you to a place of even if you're still confused after talking to them or someone just couldn't commit to you it puts you in a better place of where you can give your love to someone who is more um, suited for you someone who will accept it someone who won't um, you'll be in a better place of um, of getting over healing moving on from someone wanted to know about a pregnancy a baby interesting um let's get some additional advice here for you um It looks like you get clear on, on what this person's intentions are or what they were. Uh, it puts you in a place of being able to make a decision. But still, at the, at the same time, this person may say things to keep you in this place of being stuck or stagnant or things are just um, up in the air or people are being indecisive romance wow listen to your intuition let go yeah perfect timing so romance may keep you with this person or this person may say something romantic to you. They, this person may want to keep or do something romantic. They want to keep you in the loop, hanging on. But it says let go. And the Wheel of Fortune talks about timing also. Perfect timing to let go, to move on. Um, maybe from a situation that was never going to really turn in your favor. What is this romance card? What's this romance card for Aries? Um, someone from your past or someone who yeah you have a significant bond with could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio it looks like you're going to take the leap of faith Aries um, 
Yeah, you're gonna take a leap, you're gonna take a leap of faith and you're just going to go with the flow. Go with um knowing that this is a divine connection, but there's still something mucky here before you um you guys can actually be together. You do have the Knight of Cups and the Star at the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Pentacles, the Chariots. You could be dealing with the Cancer, the Six of Swords again. Um, lots of romance here, but at the same time, uh, this might just be your energy of needing to release the chip on your shoulder in regards to maybe this person how they treated you in the past or how past relationships turned out it makes you weary of actually the the trusting um of maybe a new person but it looks like this person loves you and likes you a lot and they want things to move forward they want peace with you and uh, they feel like they're on the right path in regards to dealing with you. Uh, if you're dealing with a water sign, looks at Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles. This person looks at you as long term. They always did or they always have. Um, they always will. It says reconsider walking away. Um, because uh, if you just ask significant questions, you'll get answers and it'll help you make a decision. It'll help you um come unstuck you have to trust yourself and listen to your intuition that's why the two of swords came up twice uh the twos govern the high priestess it says sit with yourself if it makes sense more on um, the pro side versus the con side then it's probably a good idea um you have to really evaluate this this relationship, this situation, uh, for for what it is and where it is, how much time has been spent with this person, also, uh, what are, what is the dynamic of the relationship? Are the both of you single? Is there someone else um, committed to another? You really have to um, be honest with yourself and stop causing the mental blockage of the two of swords by not really facing the. The fact of the matter. Uh, for some of you, that's going to be somebody who's already tied to another. Okay? Um, so you have to face that fact. Um, even if they told you, you know, certain things. Okay? Aries, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, go over to the, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. You can always text the number below. A question. Uh, that you have about a significant other you can text the number below receive the answer to your question on your mobile device you can pay for your question also on your mobile device it just makes me more accessible to you and you to me thank you aries take care and many blessings